This is William Conrad. Well, tonight's the night for Gunsmoke on television. And one of Hollywood's biggest stars, John Wayne, will be on hand for the premiere. Be sure and watch Gunsmoke tonight over the CBS television network at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. The transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America. And the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful. And a little lonely. <laughs> What's that for, Chester? Oh, I don't know. I just want to make a noise, I guess. It's so blame quiet out here on the prairie. Now, you've been mighty quiet yourself. I guess I run plumb out of conversation back a couple hours ago. It, it ain't I'm unsociable, Mr. Yeah, Dillon. I know, Chester. It's been a long ride. Yeah, but we'll be in Dodge by dark. Uh, yes, sir. Just in time to go to bed. <laughs> you didn't have anything better to do, did you? I guess not. Game of checkers with Doc, maybe. Oh, that man plays the dog gone this craziest game of checkers. Hey, Chester. Mm. Over there. What? Well, that smoke, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Must be a grass fire, huh? Well, was smoke that black? Well, what is it, then? Isn't there a ranch over in that direction? Well, now, yes, sir, there is. Not far, neither. The fellow's name Claiborne, as I remember. Come here from Indiana about four years ago. Him and his wife did. Awful nice fella. Come on, Chester. Planted corn the first year, but it didn't turn out very well. Come on, Chester. We better take a look. What do you suppose could have happened? Yeah, there's one thing for sure. It wasn't an accident. Hmm? Look at the tracks. Horses. They're all milling around. I'm sure a lot of them. What I don't understand is where is Mr. Claiborne? Here's his house not hardly burnt to the ground yet. Take a look over there, Chester. Mr. Dillon. Come on. Should have stayed in Indiana. And his wife, too. And I didn't even know they had a little one, Mr. Dillon. Looks like they was trying for cover in that little creek bed there. Well, we can only do one thing for him now. Maybe there's a shovel left back there. Mr. Dillon, who could have did a thing like that? That's plain enough, isn't it? Yes, but I didn't hear no Indian trouble right now. I didn't either. Mr. Jones? Yeah. 
if them Indians were just here not very long ago, they couldn't have gone far. That's right, Chester, they couldn't. All right, come on, let's get to that shovel. Poor old Mr. Claiborne. Look out there, Mr. Dillon. What? Planted corn again, and it's doing real well, too. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute, Chester. Listen. Horses. A lot of them. Yeah. You think it could be them Indians coming back? That could be. Get the rifles, and we'll try a run for the creek bed. Oh, too late, Mr. Dillon. They're coming over the rise. Well, Mr. Dillon, it ain't Indians. It's the blue coats. Yeah. A patrol, a whole company of them. Oh, my, ain't they a welcome sight. Yeah, come on. Let's go meet them. out from all the rest. Miracle tip, much more flavor. L&M's got everything. It's the best. No other cigarette gives you L&M's assurance. Assurance that it is best. L&M's got everything. Superior filter, superior taste, superior filtration because of L&M's superior filter. White, all white, pure white. The purest tip that ever touched your lips. Superior taste because of l and superior tobaccos. Tasty, full of flavor, and light and mild. Buy l and today, America's best filter tip cigarette. This is it, l and filters. l and has got everything. It's the best. here, Marshal? Uh, we were riding in from Pawnee, and we saw the smoke, Lieutenant. We were a little too late. Uh, so I see. Where are Over they? Over there. All three of them. Mm. They're pretty close on their trail now. Maybe we can get them before they find another ranch. Well, from the prints, I figured them for Kiowa. But I didn't know there was any trouble. Well, there isn't. For the tribe, these are just renegades. Not more than eight or ten of them. Oh. Got all fired up and jumped the agency. Mm, fired up with cheap whiskey. Well, maybe... But we can't be more than about half an hour behind them now. With luck, we'll get them before nightfall. I sure hope so. Marshal, we'll take over here for you. The horses need a few minutes rest. Then we'll go on. All right, Lieutenant. We'll head on into Dodge. And keep your eyes open, Marshal, on the way. Yeah. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Dillon, it's a cussed crying shame. Them Indians can be as peaceful as anything, and then some ornery white man comes along and sells them some of that red eye, and they just go hog crazy. Chester, an Indian's no different from anybody else with too much to drink. Now the problem's deeper than that. What do you mean? Well, the Indians have lost a lot. They're a conquered people. That doesn't sit well with any man, Chester. There are times when it makes him mad. Mm. Yes, sir, that's so. I guess maybe you can't blame him entirely. Uh, not entirely. Mm, sir. We'll see now. That's a pretty little valley. Hey, look, there's somebody down there. Yeah, it looks like settlers. They do indeed with that Conestoga wagon. <laughs> they build them a sod hut, too. Well, looks like we got neighbors we didn't know we had, Mr. Dillon. Or maybe we're losing them before we get to know them. Hmm? They seem to be packing the wagon. Maybe they heard about the Indians. Yeah, that's likely. Now, come on, we'll ride down and say hello. Oh. 
Afternoon. Howdy. I'm Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal out of Dodge. Ah, uh, this is Chester Proudfoot. I'm Sam Fraser. This is my ma. Hi. Sam. This is my wife, Alice. Hello. How do you do? This is Tad, my kid brother. Pleased to meet you. Hello. We're headed for Dodge ourselves. Well, looks like you got settled here. Well, we ain't staying, Marshal. We're going on west. Chasing rainbows, Marshal. Farm folks like us. Now, Ma. Don't you now, Ma, me, Sam Fraser. If your pa was still alive, well, he, he wouldn't ain't. believe... And it's up to me to do the deciding now. If you'll excuse me, Marshal, I'll get back to loading up. Uh, Chester and I can give you a hand. No, thanks. Tad and me will manage. Uh... That's a real nice odd hut, Miss Fraser. It's kind of too bad to go off and leave it. My husband built it, not him. Now, Ma, Sam, help. Huh. Marshal, what do you think of a son that goes against his father's wishes and him not hardly cold in his grave? Ma, please. Three days now, Marshal. He's buried right over there under that cottonwood. I'm sorry, ma'am. We hadn't been here more than a week. Come all the way from Ohio. Looking for a spot of good ground to till. Looking for a home, Marshal. And he found it here. It sure is a pretty little place. Hmm. Samuel called it Pleasant Valley. Said he'd be grateful to settle here and spend his days. Only the Lord didn't leave him any days. Denied him like Moses come to the promised land. It would make a nice homestead for you folks. It would. But some folks has ideas. Oh, my layoff. Mr. Fraser. What? Look, uh, I know this is none of my business, but uh, is there some reason why you want to give up this land and go on? Reason enough. It's because of me, Marshal. Now, Alice, you ain't to blame. Yes, I am. It's because Sam is worried about me, Marshal. No Indians would scare him off if it was just these folks, but it's me he's scared for. Me and... And the one coming. And what better reason? You think I want my wife and my child living in danger of murdering savages? Oh, Mr. Fraser, this is just a bunch of renegades. The cavalry will get them soon and the danger will be over. And who's to say what they'll do before the cavalry gets them? No, oh, Marshal, my family's going to grow up in a safe place. My ma born me in the middle of the Ohio woods, thick with Indians as fleas on a hound. We was made us Turner stuff in them days. Maybe, but my wife ain't going to live like that. Now, come on, Tad. Hand that up. We're losing time. Um, you going on west? Aye, to California, he says. Might even look for gold instead of farming, he says. Oh, my. I, I reckon most of that gold out there is already clean. Twenty years or more. Uh, of course, you might have luck. We can always that. find a piece of land. Yeah, maybe you can, but nothing better than this. You're nothing half as good. This dirt's richer than molasses in the cook pot. If it was me, well, I... Well, it ain't. Now, hoist. If I was just a few years old... I said old, hoist. I... You see how it is, Marshal. Yes, sir. Yeah, maybe he's right. Uh, California might work out fine. Only it's a long way, and with Miss Fraser expecting, uh, it's going to be... Kind of a hard trip. I know all that, Marshal. We'll stay in Dodge till the baby's born. It won't be long now, and then we'll go on. I just want to say one thing, Mr. Fraser, as a lawman in this territory. We have some troubles now and then, sure, but it's not as bad as you think. And in a few years, it'll be as safe here as it is in well, Ohio right now, or California. And this is going to be a prosperous country. My mind's made up, Marshal. Well, all right. We better help you get loaded then. See you safe into Dodge. The worst place to be right now is out on the open prairie. All right. That's it. Now, one more shot. Good. That should ride easy. Well, that's the last. Oh. All right, then, we're all ready. Might as well get started. It's getting late. You got them all hitched, Ted? They're ready. Where's Ma? She's over by the cottonwood. Oh. 
crying, I suppose, to shame me. Sam. Well, tears don't do no good. She ain't crying. She's just standing, staring. I tried to get her to come away, but she wouldn't. Marshal, maybe if you was to talk to her. You know, a stranger. All right. Well, sure, ma'am. Miss Fraser. He's there, Marshal. Right there. We fixed up a cross. Yes, sir. Maybe if you was to pass by this way again, you just take a look. See the marker still standing? Well, I sure it will, ma'am. Twenty-five years, Marshal. And all I ever asked was to lie there beside him. It's a lonely place. Mm-hmm. But it's no lonelier than any other, Miss Fraser. Why, in the springtime, this whole meadow is covered with a blanket of sunflowers. Pretty as you ever saw. Thank you, Marshal. I can go now. Ma. Ma, I'm sorry. No need, boy. We all do what we have to do. You're no different. Just help me up. Oh, here, Ma. All right. Now let's get this girl into town. Her time's almost come. Okay, Ma. Hey! <laughs> All right, come on, Chester. Yes, sir. I want you to ride the point. Keep a good watch ahead and to the north, huh? All right, sir. I'll cut up to the top of that hill and take a look, and then I'll ride south flank, cover that side and behind. Well, Mr. Dillon, it sure does seem a shame. Wait a minute, it... Chester. Oh, my gracious, coming over the hill. Yeah. Them ain't blue coats. No, they're not, Chester. <laughs> Other cigarette gives you L and M's assurance, assurance that it is best. L and M gives you superior filtration because of its superior filter, superior taste because of L and M's superior tobaccos. Yes, L and M tobaccos are tasty, full of flavor, and light and mild. And L and M's superior filter is the purest tip that ever touched your lips. It's white, all white. Truly, the miracle tip. Because when it's added to L and M Superior Tobacco, it actually tones up the taste, actually improves your enjoyment of this great cigarette. No other cigarette gives you L and M's assurance, assurance that it is best. L and M's got everything: superior taste, superior tobacco, superior filter. That's why it's America's best filter tip cigarette. Try L and M today. Marshal, but Alice got choked up some with us going so fast. Well, we'll carry her. Come on. Oh, 
be all right, Marshal. Sure you will, ma'am. Hang on now. There we go. Over here. Right here, Marshal. Put her down gently. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alice. Oh, Sam, don't you worry. I'll be all right. You go on. Do what needs to be done. I'll be all right. But Alice... Go on, boy. Come on, Sam. You got a rifle, Sam? Yeah, yeah, sharps in the wagon. Well, that'll give us three. I ain't got one, Marshal, but I can load for you. All right, son. There'll be plenty to do. They're still up there, Mr. Dillon. Having a powwow, looks like. You figure they'll rush us, Marshal? No. They know we got rifles. There are only eight or nine of them, and the ground's too open. They'll either go on and leave us alone, or they'll wait till the sun goes down and come in in the dusk. There's nothing to do but wait. Well, we can use the time to unload part of the wagon. Uh, just the things they'll need in there, though. And we'll drive it off and cut the horses loose. We don't want them milling around in case of a fight. Sam! What, Ma? Get water from the creek. Make a fire, quick. Ma! Don't stand there. You heard me. Get moving. Yes, sir. Relax, Fraser. She's going to be all right. Sure, sure. Out here in nowhere with them up there. This is just what I was afraid of. Well, plenty have been born this way. Now, you might have been yourself, you know. I know, but... Tad, where are you going? Down to the creek. Ma wants more water. Uh, you better go with him, Chester. Yes, sir. Oh, I should have gone two days ago. I wanted her to have the best. Nothing but the best. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. That's... That's why I talked about hunting gold in California. You know something, Sam? A man can waste a lifetime looking for gold when it's right in front of his eyes. Where? Now you're looking at it. There's wealth here for a man, too. Oh, I know it, Marshal. Tad! Yeah, come on. Tad! He's all right, Mr. Dillon. Yes, sir, Nick. One of them snuck up close, but I chased him off. Oh, Tad. I'm all right, Sam. J- just crease my arm. Well, it's bleeding. We'll fix it when we get him back to the hut. Tight enough, son? Oh, sure, sure, Marshal. That's okay. How's Alice? I don't know. Ma chased me away. I'm worried, Marshal. And I'm more worried about those Indians. It's going to be dark soon. Mr. Dillon, that patrol ought to be around here somewhere. Yeah, I know. I was hoping they'd show up. Well, they can't be far. They was on the trail. Maybe if I was to ride out. Now, there's a better way, Chester. Signal them. How? Have a sign they've been looking for and hoping not to see. Smoke. You mean set the grass afire? No, that'd smoke us out, too. No, the wagon. Oh, but Marshal... Yeah, I know, Fraser. It's like burning your bridges behind you, but it's the only thing we've got. All right. All right, we'll burn it. It's almost out, but it sure sent up a lot of smoke while it lasted. You reckon the cavalry saw it, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, it's hard to say, Chester. Well, if they did, I hope they're hurrying. The sun's most gone, all but the tops of the hills. This valley's getting mighty shadowy. Yeah, we better sit in a circle. Each one watch his side. Marshal! Out there, was that? What? No, just one of the horses, son, but you keep looking. Marshal! Marshal, listen! Look, up there, it's the blue coats. They're here. Oh, ain't that a welcome sight? They're charging the Indians, running them off. Marshal, we're going to be all right. Yeah, Fraser. They'll get them now. Maybe if we... Sam, get in here. (laughs) 
Alice. Well, what are you staring at? Body'd think you'd never seen a strapping, healthy baby boy before. Alice? I'm all right, darling. We're both all right. I told you you didn't need to worry about us. <laughs> all right, now, you men folk, get on out of here. Go on, skedaddle. Uh, yes, ma'am. You too, Sam Fraser. Well, Sam, uh, Chester and I will be getting on in the Dodge. We, we sent a wagon out for you. Well, I reckon we won't be needing the wagon, Marshal. Sam, you mean we're staying? Well, we buried one here. And we born one here. And we shed Fraser blood in this dirt. And it is good dirt, Marshal. And it is a pleasant place. Yes, it is. You'll be welcome here any time. Both of you. Thank you, Mr. Fraser. <laughs> welcome to Kansas. <laughs> And now our star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. You know what I like about Helen Hems is they're mild and mighty easy on the draw. When you get right down to it, no filter stacks up with Helen Hems pure white miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. Darn good smoke. See for yourself. Helen Hems stands out from all the rest. Remember, as I told you earlier, Gunsmoke goes on TV tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time over the CBS Television Network. So be sure and see Gunsmoke's TV premiere tonight. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The special music for Gunsmoke was composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Bill James and Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Helen Cleave, Eleanor Tannen, Sam Edwards, and John Daner. Harley Bear is Chester. is best for you, they satisfy you. If you want tomorrow's better cigarette today, next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember, only Chesterfield is made the modern way with Accuray. You'll notice how fresh and good Chesterfield's made with Accuray taste, how smooth they are, and how they satisfy. So buy Chesterfield today, best for you. Listen to Gunsmoke again next week, transcribed for L&M Filters.